Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a personal folder in your own computer to which you can store items from Outlook. You have to do this if you do not have a Microsoft Exchange server and are using Outlook on a standalone computer. Even if you do have an Exchange server, you can also create personal folders to which you can manually store Outlook items. A personal folder is a file type that ends with a .pst file extension. If you do not have an Exchange Server mailbox, then a personal folder is created when you initially configure your email accounts in Outlook. This folder contains your mail, meaning your inbox, and your other items. If you use a personal folder for item storage, you hold the items on your computer in a folder that no one else but you can access. You can view your folders by clicking Folders within the navigation bar. To create a personal folder, click the File tab within the ribbon and then click the Info command at the left side of the Backstage view. To the right of that, click the Account Settings button and choose the Account Settings command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Account Settings dialog box. In this dialog box, click the Data Files tab, then click the Add button on this tab to open the Create or Open Outlook Data File dialog box. Here you can navigate to the folder where you wish to create the new personal folder and then type a name for the new folder into the file name text box. When you're finished, click the OK button to create the personal folder data file. The file will then appear within the Data Files tab in the Account Settings dialog box. When you are finished, click the Close button. If you are viewing folders within the navigation bar, you will note that you now have a new item with the name that you entered appear within the folder list. It will also contain its own deleted items folder. You can click on the folder to view the contents of the folder. You can also move your items from other Outlook folders into this folder if desired. If you want to close the personal folder, you can simply right click on the entry within the folder list and then select the close folder name command from the pop-up menu that appears. This will remove the entry from the folder list as well. You can reopen the personal folder to return it to the folder list. To do this, click the file tab in the ribbon and then click the open and export command at the left side of the backstage view. To the right of that, click the open Outlook data file button. At that point, the Open Outlook Data File dialog box will appear, allowing you to navigate to the location on your computer where you saved the personal folder. Click it to select it, and then click the OK button to open the personal folder. This will place the personal folder icon back into your folder list. To delete a personal folder, first make sure that the folder is closed within Outlook. If using Outlook, exit Outlook as you will not be able to delete the folder while Outlook is running. Then use the Windows system to navigate to the folder into which you saved the personal folder. Click it to select it and then press the delete key on your keyboard to send the folder to your computer's recycle bin. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.